things intuitively and then helping them with intellect. You know, it's the, the, the joining of the intellect, say, hey, Mr. Intellect, here, meet Miss Creativity, and now you can get together. And mm -hmm. that, that's the fun part of it for me. Um, well, you but I love that. You, you did the arrangement for sowing the seeds of love. I mean, Indeed. that was enormous. What did they have before you got a hold of it? They had a, was... an incredible track, which was, you know, kind of a, a Ringo style drum program. That was, <laughs> yeah, all that, but, yeah. but, on, but on acid, you know, and that's, I mean, that was the thing that they said to me. They, I, you know, I said, why didn't you just get George Martin to do this? Cause it's obviously a Beatles pastiche, but they said, well, we wanted you to do it because then it would be George Martin on acid. <laughs> So, so I said, okay, I get what you mean. Because, I mean, I, I had a reputation by that time as being a wild and crazy guy in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I did. And, and I mean, if you look at, I've been so fortunate to be able to do incredible, I mean, Slave to the Rhythm. You know, that is just, there still has never been a record that is as production-wise and conception-wise as wildly creative as that record. I think that still stands as the height of record production at, at that wow. time. And and of course, there's also two aspects of record production, which I think is very important because, you know, there's the technology side of record production, and then there's the artistic side. Now, 